Good morning, class 4-3. Mr. Waterman here with today's language arts lesson in period four on Friday, February 5th, 2021. Now that we have finished our grammar activities for today, we are going to go over the answers in our Chinatown workbook activities on pages 222 and 223. And then we are going to go into the last few pages of our Chinatown workbook activities because after today, we're finished with Chinatown. We are going to start a new story next week. Okay, so on page 222, we were talking about endings and doubling consonants, okay? So what you had to look at were the CK as in duck, the double F as in cuff, the double L as in ball, and the double S as in dress. What you had to do for the directions, you had to use the double consonants in the box to finish each word. Then you had to write the word on the line, okay? And just in case you're not sure, C and K have the same sound. That's why they are double consonant. Number four, water ball, double L. Number five, snack. Number six, Skill. Number seven, glass. Number eight, sniffing. This is what dogs do when they smell. Number nine, class. And number 10, Cliff. Okay, please remember you were to write your own sentences for each of the words. So make sure you have the correct double consonants. If you do not, please go back and change them and change your sentence. When you have finished checking page 222, let's look at page 223. This was a proofreading activity. Now we read through the sentences yesterday as well as the words. Let's review the spelling words. When, sheep, both, then, chase, teeth, teach, dish, which, then, wash, catch. You had to circle the four spelling words and then write them correctly. Both grandma and I love to go to Chinatown. This should be both. Capital B O T H. We have a hard time deciding which seafood restaurant we like best. This should be which. I'll write it here W H I C H. Three. It is Fun to watch the fish in the fish tank chase. Each other. C-H-A-S-E. Finally, there is no fish fresher than. That should be than the fish in Chinatown. Very easy activity. Okay, once you have checked, let's move on.
the, the last three pages of the Chinatown workbook. Spotlight on naming words. Common nouns. Naming words are called nouns. Nouns name people, places, and things. This is a review. Read each sentence. Underline the nouns that name people. Circle the nouns that name things. Draw a box around the nouns that name places. Okay? Now, let's look at the sentences. One, the baby is in the swing. Two, the pencil and paper belong to the student. Three, the family is at the beach. Four, the books are on the shelves in the library. Let's do one together. The baby is in the swing. We are going to underline baby because baby is a person. We're going to circle swing because a swing is a thing. Okay? Please do numbers two through four on your own. When you're finished, let's turn to page 225. Here we go. This is a writing skill, writing a scene. To be exact, write each sentence. Replace the underlined word with a more exact noun. Let's look at the example. I visited my aunt at her place to buy food. I visited my aunt at her house. I'm sorry. I visited my aunt at her place. I visited my aunt at her house. Her house is a more exact place. Please listen as I read each sentence. One. My aunt and I went to an outdoor place to buy food. Two, there were many different kinds of fresh foods there, such as apples and oranges. Three, my aunt bought three pounds of fruit to make a pie. Four, she said the person for the fruit we brought she paid the person for the fruit we brought. Blah. This is what happens when you make way too many videos in one day. Excuse me. Number five. When we got to my aunt's house, she made the pie and baked it in the thing. All right. Let's do one together. One. My aunt and I went to an outdoor market to buy food. So I'm going to write the sentence. My aunt and I went to an outdoor market to buy food. 
So as you can see, I replaced the word place with the word market, which was also one of our vocabulary words from Chinatown. Please do numbers two through five on your own. When you're finished, please turn to the last page of the Chinatown workbook. The skill naming words, common nouns. This is revising a news story. For the directions, it says to read the newspaper story. When possible, combine two sentences into one to make the story sound better. Chinese New Year. Chinatown. Today was the Chinese New Year. People who live in Chinatown celebrated. Visitors celebrated. Adults crowded the streets. Children crowded the streets. Boys from the Kung Fu school marched down the streets. Girls from the Kung Fu school marched down the streets. The dragon parade was exciting to watch. The lion dance was exciting to watch. The dragon costumes were beautiful. The lion costume was beautiful. Everyone had a good time. Okay, do you see what's happening? Many of the sentences are repeating the same things. We can make this easier by combining two sentences to make one. All right. First thing I'm going to do is write the title. So this is Chinese New Year. And now I'm going to look at where I can compare Chinatown. Today was the Chinese New Year. Okay. People who live in Chinatown celebrated. Visitors celebrated. I can combine these two. and make it one sentence. People and, oops, sorry. People who, you may need extra paper for this. People who live in Chinatown and visitors celebrated. Okay. Adults crowded the streets. Children crowded the streets. You can combine these two. Adults And children crowded the streets. Okay. Please continue and work on combining the rest of the sentences on your own. That's it for today's activities and that's it for this week's lessons in language arts. I hope you all have a great weekend. Remember, if you have any questions, to email Mr. Waterman at any time. Take care, stay safe, be well, have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next week.
for more online lessons. Bye-bye for now.